My name is El Sayed Ali. I'm a PhD student at Carleton University. My research field is uh, medical physics, which is the application of uh, physics to human health. Uh, specifically, I'm working on uh, the physics behind the treatment of cancer with radiation. Most cancer patients, when they are treated with radiation, they are treated on a machine called the linear accelerator. The most important parameter that is needed for this treatment plan is the energy distribution of the radiation that comes out of the machine. When a cancer patient is treated with radiation, too little radiation is not good. It could cause recurrence and too much radiation could cause serious side effects. So keeping that balance requires an exact knowledge of the radiation that's coming out of the machine. And my project is to try to uh, come up with an accurate and yet cost-effective method to determine that energy distribution. And ultimately, with a more accurate knowledge of what's coming out of the machine, the treatment plan would be more accurate and the side effects would be less, the, the chance for recurrence would be less, and uh, this would improve overall uh, cancer survival rate. My project is a collaboration between the physics department at Carleton University and uh, the ionizing radiation standards at the National Research Council. At Carleton University, we have a computing farm that has about 400 computers, so it, would, it helps us a lot in doing the simulations of radiation transport within patients. And then here at NRC, they have unique facilities that allow us to have full control over the linear accelerators that uh, are similar to the ones used in the clinic. And so we can use these facilities in addition to the expertise of the people at the ionizing radiation standards at the end of my project, I'm hoping to have actually two things, to provide a tool that can be used in the clinics, and on the other hand, the same tool can be a very useful tool for researchers who are doing basically the background work for what goes on in the clinic. So that could be a very useful research tool for them. Since I was young, I had a passion for, for math and physics, and my undergrad training is engineering. And when I was thinking of pursuing graduate studies, the medical physics field basically has all these elements. So the, the, my passion for math and physics, and at the same time, an applied field where I would have a direct impact on people. The Vanier Canada Scholarship has been great because it alleviates a lot of the financial burden on a PhD student and it would get the PhD student to focus more on their research. This is a good life working example of the pursuit of science for the great benefit of the people.